Good morning, good morning. Hey, so the light that you guys are seeing is a green light right here that I keep in my backpack. Let me show you guys what I did this morning. Look at that. Look at that. Turn mosquitoes. Can y'all see that? It is exactly six o'clock in the morning. I was standing right, o right around there. And then Hog was right here feeding up under our feeder. We got the uh, spot point right there. You see it just took a picture and it's real. But this is crazy. I shot this hog. I would turn the camera around, but you guys wouldn't be able to see my my face anyway. But I'll do a little bit more when I get in the blind and get a light. But uh, again, this is my green light, stream light that I normally keep in my backpack. When I got out of the truck, my phone dinged that it was hogs here. And guess what? All I had is my bow because I'm, I'm deer hunting this morning. And when I looked, it was three. We'll show you guys whenever this video posts, but it was three hogs, I believe, on, on the camera with a buck feeding. And the only thing I can think to myself was, oh man, all I got is a bowl. And I left my uh, my Grendel at the house. Um, but I made it on in anyway. And with this green light, hogs can't really see that green light there, you know. So I snuck up as close as I could, about, about 25 yards, and got right here in this opening right here where I can see one. And I guess it was her. And I made the first shot. I think I hit her in the side. And then she ran. I mean, right to me. And I shot her right in, the, right in the face, baby. Right in the face. I mean, I can't believe that. Right in the face. This is the first time something ever happened like me. <laughs> like that before. But, uh, you guys, let me see. I will, uh, get situated, like I say, in the blind this morning. And then I will get back on this video. It'll be daylight in probably about 50 minutes, so let me get done and pull her out of the way because that's normally the trail at the, you can see her right there, that's normally the trail that the deer come in right there, so, all right. Hey, so I just got the blind. Let me give you guys a rundown on what I got. Uh, oh, boy, man, I'm a little tired. Having to pull that hog in. So, again, we're shooting uh, a 10 point uh, 405. This is the Stealth NXT. And let me get the light right here. You're running a 100 grain fixed broadhead right there. That's the uh, Ganda Mountain Edition 20 inch bolt. In my chair, my little side chair, I got my uh, thermocell going, my range finder, my book bag sitting over here. My monopod, and normally the Grendel will be sitting right there, and I should have had it this morning, but as you guys are going to see in this video, it all worked out. Um, and a lucky fan, she's not with me. I left her in the truck this morning, not by accident, because it's pretty cool this morning, and I knew I'd be sitting in the blind, you know, when you cut on that uh, thermocell, you know, it just fogs up the blind and gets those mosquitoes out of here, so I really don't have to worry about that. But, uh, let me see something here. I know you guys can't really see my face here, but man, this morning, that 5.7 Herstel worked out, baby. That green light, matter of fact, I'll pull it out here shortly and show it to you. I seen hogs on the camera. I had probably about a 300 yard walk in from the truck, and you can hear them just rooting and tearing up the corn. And I got, like I said, probably about within 20 yards, there was a spiking. And I can, I cut the green light on and I clearly can see the hog. I made a good side shot, I believe it was. And I mean, she ran right to me. She didn't know where I was. And I shot her right between the eyes, baby. I mean, dropped her dead right there. She's a nice size pig. I'm guessing about 120 pounds when it get daylight. You know, I'll show you guys a little bit better picture or video of her but um 
Let me grab my other light out of here real quick. Let me turn this around. So this is a light that I normally keep. Like I said, you can see it shines green. And it's a, I mean, a heck of a beam. This beam is like 400 plus yards. Um, let me see if I can get you guys a name on this. And this is one that I ordered. That's the name of it right there. And I promise you, I've had this light a better part of uh, seven or eight years. Um, I have one. I bought my wife and my son one, you know, for tracking and walking in and doing like kind of what I did this morning because the hogs can't really see that green light. So it worked out perfectly. Um, I used to use that light. Uh, whenever, well, before I bought a uh, night vision and thermal, you know, I used to put that on the top of my gun and shoot hogs with that at night. But, uh, we done evolved, baby. We can see in the dog now and they never know where they are. But you guys stay tuned in the face. Hey, I know it's early, but... I just got out of stand. My wife texts me and says she just stuck one. So, um, we're going to end this hunt. And like I said, it's 8, 8.15. Right now, I was going to stay in the blind about 10. And then go get her. Like I said, we hunted local this morning. We did not go to Nahana's our big property. We stayed right near um, Kingsland. I'm in Woodbine, and she's out in Tarver right now hunting. But, uh, man, it seems to be a good morning. Hopefully, we can find the deer that she got. But I'm going to turn the camera around. Like I say, this is what I got this morning. Again, you guys will see we're on the, uh, um, the camera. Um, we got this pig. It was three of them, I believe, sitting here eating corn this morning. Look at the, I mean, they just destroy this place here. I mean, just destroy it. They got the whole camera set up right there. Again, my stand and my blind. But I shot this hog this morning before daylight with my uh, pistol, my 5.7. Uh, man, I had a green light. I say you guys will see in the video but uh that 5.7 right there it definitely did the job if i can uh manage to show you guys the ammo that i'm using here this right here is a 28 grain bullet right here with a 5.7 by 28 and i'm shooting a 28 grain here so put that back but man that right here was a, a very good hunt this morning it's still cool I'm finna go and walk out and get the four come in get her load up and go and pick my wife up see if we can find a deer she just shot with a bow so me and you guys stay tuned We'll see you guys whenever I had the four wheel. Alright. Got the old Polaris out here. Got her loaded up. Yeah, she took that one right to the eye. Hey guys, I want to uh to make a correction on what I just said. Get that sun. So again, the pistol that I was using this morning when I shot this hog. Uh this is five point seven by twenty eight. And I said earlier that that was a 28 grain bullet. My mistake. I'm using the 40 grain. Let me turn. I apologize for that. This is the 40 grain bullet right here. Um, so, again, I apologize for that. I don't know why I said 28 grain, but it's 5.7 by 28. Sorry about that. But, yeah, I think she's going to weigh out probably about 150. She takes up the whole back of that four-wheeler. 
So, oh yeah, great hunt. But yeah, you guys can see, baby, I don't play. When I say in the face, I mean in the eye, in the face, in the eye. So, but yeah, I made that shot. It was, uh, what, 6.30 this morning. I'm just taking you guys. That's where she finally fell. Like I said, she ran to me. She didn't know where I was. I shot that first shot. But uh, I was, you see it's a little small hill. And I came in quietly around that corner, walking all the way in, because you can hear them feeding. And I got about right here. And she was right back there. Like I say, probably about 20 yards. And uh, I shined the green light. And she just kept feeding. I made the first shot. And that I hit her, I think, right in the side maybe. And she ran. You can see the little smaller pathway. She ran right here. I mean, right to me. And I shot her right in the eye. So she is going to be down, baby. She is good to go. Loaded up on the four-wheeler. Got corn in the feeder. Batteries are in the camera. So we got to load it up. Now it's time to go get my baby. It's time to go and see what she got. We can find her dear. So, all right, baby. In the face all day. In the eyeball. I don't play. Peace out.